All right, I was recently asked, <laughs> do you think about God a lot? And I said, yeah, I think about God all the time. Just don't think of God like the rest of the people do. Because when I think about God, I think about creation. When I think about creation, I think about the numbers of the geometry of the cell. And its connection to us and our consciousness and evolution and spirituality and stuff like that. So, remember, like, Ted Leo, guys. I don't pray. <laughs> okay? I don't pray, guys. Pray is what a predator does. I ask questions. Okay, remember these guys? Who, what, where, when, why, how? You know? There's five of them, but there's also, like, six of them. There's a five and a one. Now... If we look at heaven in the free energy model, which I have modified now, okay? I show you the three axes, okay, the X, Y, Z, or the three, to create a new one. That's like a circled plus. Now, since we've already circled the plus, we need to make an X. And to make the X, all we need are two additional rings, okay? thus depicting a five in order to get 14 axles okay spinning wheels on the faces of the cell now the singularity at the center of the magnetic field you know all that nonsense it counts as a one but it's a different one okay so you have a one at the center which is different and then you have five. You know, all that stuff in there depicts, again, it's like a 33. Because you have a circled plus, plus an X. But the singularity of the X is the additional one to make three. 33, Freemason obsession. You want to know what it's all about? This is what it's all about. It's all about asking questions to God. This is how you communicate with the word. W is the 23rd letter of the alphabet. 2 and 3 is 5. Let's just say everything's circled right now in this plane. Because I'm not going to talk about the circled stuff right now. So if that's a 5, 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 that's 25. Interesting. That's an 8. What's 25 plus 8? 33. So, I ask questions. I find language more interesting now than I ever have because I see its relationship with numbers. Man, I hated linear algebra! Guy, when I was in university and Kasejap and stuff, when we learned linear algebra, I was like, what the hell are they doing mixing letters in with the numbers? A lot of people really didn't like that. It kind of threw me off for a bit. Didn't like it at first, but then I was like, okay, I get it. A lot of people didn't like that. Now I can see the numbers in the letters and the words and the phrases. And I can see similar meanings to the total. Like, when you look at all of the selves in all the galaxies in the universe of phrase, you get a number. And if you can derive all sorts of different phrases from that number then they all have a connection. It's creation. It's just words and letters. Somebody made the English alphabet based on this cell. Okay? Now, what's funny to me, again, is the letter S. You know, the 19th letter of the alphabet. Now, what is that? What is that? Okay, well, look. We're depicting a 15 here again, right? Because we have three rings plus the additional two rings which are a 5, and then singularity, which would be like a 1. It's like a 15 or 51. We just said Super Bowl 51. Okay? Where are they going for? Uh, I forget now. That's why I had to make the video right away. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Okay, look. Look at it from this point of view now. Sorry, guys. From this point of view, you see four up and down vertical rings. 
and only one of them will be horizontal. <laughs> this one. Okay. So if you take away the singularity, and if you view it from a point of view where you cannot see the singularity anymore, you know? It also represents a 14, like the 14 zodiac signs that I talk about, because the celestial sky can be broken into 4 pi. <laughs> Anyways, whatever, right? So, your 14, yes, there it is. It depicts a 14, but there are five rings, okay? It depicts a 14, but there are four vertical rings and one horizontal ring, okay? Therefore, 14 plus 5 is 19, the S. And I think the S depicts, like, one measurement of pi, you know, like a sine wave or a cosine wave. More like a sine wave, because that's what an S looks like. We need to move away from sin just cuz to cos. I talked about this in like way earlier videos, and I don't even remember anymore. But I think this has a lot to do with the S, okay? The geometry of heaven, okay? The circled X and the plus, the dot. The three rings needed to make the XYZ axis, and then the two rings needed to make eight more free energy wheels at one quarter of the scale in the same cell making it more curved you know and if you were to add more and more and more lines like keep cutting the melon into sl thinner and thinner slices and only keep this one plane horizontal for you know duality guys you can eventually smooth the walls of the beach ball from jagged you know to it, it, theoretically, if you can build them as small as you could possibly do, you can eventually make it smooth inside, you know? And have, like, tiny little wheels spinning and collect that energy. And <sighs> I don't think we need to do all that, though. So, you know, watching a lot of Lord of the Rings, guys. A lot of Lord of the Rings. Not Lord of the Rings. Game of Thrones. <laughs> It's all the same, it's just different, you know? Cheers!